gives me great pleasure as Lord Mayor of Liverpool to say a few words describing our city. St George's Hall, designed by Elms, is the finest expression of the great classical movement which swept across Europe in the 19th century. The cathedral on St James's Mount, designed by Sir Giles Scott, will dominate the whole Merseyside. It will be as famous a Gothic monument as St George's Hall is a classical one. Only a third, however, has yet been erected. The Cotton Exchange is the great spot cotton market of the world. The Town Hall, the Lord Mayor's headquarters, is an 18th century building by John Wood. The Liver Building overlooks the river front. The Great Clock was first set in motion as King George V was crowned. Round this loop, 400 trams travel per hour. Here is the floating roadway over which more than one and a half million vehicles a year pass on their way to and from the ferry boats. Next year they will go through the new tunnel underneath the Mersey. Nearly one million passengers per week cross the river by these ferries. Two of these ferry boats, the Iris and the Daffodil, rendered great service in the raid on Zeebrugge during the Great War. Coming towards the landing stage, we see the Cunard and the Mersey docks and harbour board buildings. And we pass on to a glimpse of one of the many large liners which use the port, embarking her passengers for New York. The overhead railway runs alongside the whole line of docks and from it the up-to-date methods of handling goods can be seen. The Gladstone Dock, opened by His Majesty the King in 1927, is large enough to accommodate the world's greatest liners. The Mersey is the heritage of Liverpool, the second city of the Empire. With its historic past, its great present and its wonderful future.